Alrighty, welcome back everybody to another exciting RuneScape stream. My name is Socrates, your streamer for today. Today is June 7th, 2023, and today we are doing the Pride event of 2023. The location of the event, it's a very simple spot here inside the pub at south side of Varrock right here. We are just right outside, and earlier today... When the event first came out, of course, there were so many people. We're in currently World 1 right now, and there's still a good chunk of people here. So let's go ahead and get this going. This should be a pretty quick event, so we'll talk to the people in here. You can see very nice scenery here. The rainbow stuff, the rainbow decoration, the people standing around the, the bar stools. You can talk to either of them to get started. Trying to write letters to each other. Start the 2023 Pride event. And that is a yes. We're going to help them write the poem. And looks like we're going to read this on the bottom right here. And I hope everyone is having a fantastic Wednesday. These feelings I have, they can't help but grow, but like flowers in blank, my colors I show. In fresh blank, I sow the seeds of my love and set it all free to fly like a dove. It's actually really well written, I gotta say. So, let's see. How do I solve this? <clears throat> so I think I have to talk to the other people. Yeah, I need to talk to each one of them. So I talked to Gregory, I'm gonna talk to him him and Bethan. I think it's three people. Nope, there's four people. The other person's right there. And there we go. We're going to check out all of them. So for Quentin, let's see, the first one will be Teller's Booth. And the second line will be Shines. Thanks for all your help. So we finished one. Gregory's will be Spring. And Soil. Third one, Bethan. Will be the Fly. And Riverbank. And finally, guard and protect with my life. Looks like they're breaking some glass. So far, so good. Let's see, there's a lot of people doing the event as we zoom out real quick. <coughs> upstairs, they didn't, they didn't decorate the upstairs. The upstairs is unaltered, right, from the update. It's just the bedroom. Typical, nothing happened there. Of course, the basement, nothing here. Actually, it's been a long time, long time since I've been in the basement. Let me check what they got here. Wow, pretty nice. So anyways, nothing in there. It's just strictly in this building, in the corner there. Next, we have to talk to Annie, whoever Annie's at. There she is. Done with their poetry. What's that by the door? There's a fairy right here. Hello. Hello? You seem surprised. I'm not sure who you are. I'm the spirit of love. How can I help you? I'm not in search of love. So you're stealing my job then? While well, I'm stuck in prison of my own creation? Your own creation? No, no. I'm just trying to make myself useful. Alright. So we're going to skip through this.
We're going to talk to the poets. Next is the poetry scroll. Gonna quickly search through all of them. So each location is a hint on where I need to go to speak to the people here. I'm using a guide that's telling me where to find these certain individuals. So the first individual, closest location, actually, it's, I would go down here. Let me go here. It's at the mines. It's pretty cool. The events nowadays are very simple, simple and somewhat short. And I love the events being simple. You know, you don't have to think too hard. And it helps you relax, too. Oh, wow. The rainbow flowers. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Cool. The next location is at Barbarian, near Barbarian Village. So I think the fastest way is to just go northwest along the river. There's a recommendation to have some Varrock teleports with you for this. I currently don't have my membership at this current time, so I'm just gonna have to walk it. But no worries, we get to you know walk and enjoy the scenery as we go through Varrock and the RuneScape world. Is that the person? Oh, maybe Bethnic. I'm gonna read out the poems. Very simple cutscenes. Oh, wow. Cool. So that's number two. We're gonna head back to Varrock. The next person is in the palace. So that's gonna take a while to get to, especially being out of stamina. Typically, the events take me around 15, 30 minutes to do. I'd say they, they've been taking me faster because I've been skipping a lot of dialogue. The ones that take me 30 minutes is because I, I go through all the dialogue. And those events are still simple. It's just I take my time. And it looks like you can see some people already wearing the rainbow stuff that they give for this event. Customizable as well with the rainbow colors or a different kind of color. I don't know what's going on with these people here, but looks like they got something going on. No worries, we're gonna go here. Next person is right inside this area. Tabitha. Well, the, the Vera guards, their, their looks are completely different than last time I saw them. They look. I'll say they look really good. Very higher tech graphics. So we'll go through this dialogue. Here it comes. We, the last one is going to be at the East Varrock Bank. We have a little bit of run energy to try to speed this up. 
I'll make this fast. We are almost done. Last person to speak to. Huh, interesting. This one went off script, so I don't know if it worked successfully. So moving on. After helping all four poets, talk to love at the flower field across from the river where you helped Bethan to complete the quest. Hang on. Oh, this one it's telling me to go west. We're gonna talk to the person one last time and then we'll be done. There it is, right here, where Gilbert's at. Next to Barbarian Village, there's all the rainbow flowers and there is Gilbert with the rainbow stuff and there is Love. So this event is basically helping out the four people with their poems and then they go ahead and you know read it out to the person they want to invite to the march and yeah it's a very simple event and then now we're going to finish up everything very simple quest and there we go you can see bottom left all current and previous pride event rewards have been unlocked at diango and drainer village they will also be available at gilbert after the event has finished and on the bottom right here we do have the items that they have provided for this event the poet's jacket right here the love crossbow which looks like a dragon crossbow the rainbow jumper you can change the style but we'll check out the rainbow one first so we'll change the style right now and wow they could actually wow they give you an option it's not like we press it one time and it just changes to like one of two options but it's like it's three six nine options so that's insanely awesome this is new i've never seen something where like you could just they give you the option and you just press so that's that's really cool so let's say like, as an example you know this so you press that oh it instantly changes you don't have to go back to the menu again so let's see what another color looks like that's cool and then you could do it from here too you know wear the rainbow Next item is two cakes. Two cakes, 111 each for 222. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And the crossbow, what does this do? Is this a weapon? And then if you examine it, you gotta really put your heart into firing this thing. I wonder what kind of stats this gives. Or like, does it even... It gives you a minus 20. Yeah, this is straight up minus 100 minus 50 minus 20 there weapon speed 1.8 seconds i want to see what i what happens if i attack something with this let's test it out let's go back to Varrock because i need to go back there anyways we're gonna attack a guard let's see how this works out What? 
It doesn't. Oh, wait a second. I'm just kicking. Huh. It's considered like a hammer. Very interesting. Well, anyways, that's the event, everybody. The oh, wait, now it's attacking something. Oh, you can... Okay, you don't use it to attack regular, you know, infantry or, you know, NPCs. You use it on other players. So you can see when you right-click a player here, it says Anamor. And that's... Yeah, that's the only option you can do. So it just shoots that and it puts hearts out like that so i'll show again do it to this person hearts come out and hearts come out again that's pretty cool you just wow it's a very long range item that's interesting you, you just hit people with this and then yeah that's pretty much it that's a really nice looking crossbow it looks very similar to the dragon crossbow except it's like pink and white so yeah, that's the event, everybody. The Pride event of 2023 on Old School RuneScape. Make sure to do it. This event they announced will be around for a full two weeks as of today, June 7th. So count two weeks from now. Yeah. Make sure to do this event if you guys, you know, are interested in doing it. Really nice prizes. Very simple event. You know, it's not, not even high effort. It's very, like, you just walk around, go through dialogue, and boom, you got your items. And then you can hang around with everybody here doing the event as well. And yeah, really good times. Again, this is me, Socrates. I hope that you all enjoyed the Pride event of 2023 in Old School RuneScape. I'll see you all next time and have a great day.